Hello students and welcome. Today we'll be discussing scientific text. Scientific text is one that presents the development of a systematic content, research product, providing evidence and results. Its purpose is to show the procedure for conducting an investigation and experimentation. Structure. Now within scientific text, it has an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. It's produced in the context of the scientific community with the intent to present or demonstrate the progress made by research. Here's an example of a doctoral thesis, bachelor's memory, article, scientist, or scientific monograph. Genetic manipulation is changing the hereditary characteristics of plants and animals by modifying the genetic material. However, it is good to uh, distinguish between genetic manipulation and making use of hereditary characteristics. Artificial insemination is not genetic manipulation. Nevertheless, it, care it clearly influences the characteristics of animals. For example, in using the sperm of the Dutch bull, Sunny Boy, it was possible to produce many cows with his good genes that were able to produce a lot of milk. Genetic manipulation has a lot of advantages, but it also comes with a lot of risk. In this website, we will tell you all about genetic manipulation. After you have read the information on our site, you will know a lot about DNA molecules, where you can find them, how they are building, and what they do. We also will explain how genetic manipulation works and its pros and cons. So, this was taken from a brochure that talked about the genetic manipulation. And this is what a scientific, scientific text will look like. Administrative are those that occur as means of communication between the individual and specific instruction. It is a very explicit language with declarative sentences in third person, singular, impersonal, and passive reflex. Here is an example of a certificate degreeing the instance of the official gazelle. Business development, here's an example of, you know, an agency's business development. Informative is in which are presented in a neutral and objective certain facts or realities. You go back. Here's the example. News, articles, encyclopedia, articles, uh, biographs, scientific papers, notices, announcements, advertisement, reports, and magazines. Albert Einstein, this is a scientific um, information about him, um, and this is how that type of scientific text would look. Literary, there are classified as literary texts to all those in which the poetic function is manifested as either essential or secondary element. Here's an example. Poetry, novels, short stories, or narrative, theater, and literary essays, including myths. Danny Rogers, wish you were here. Where do we stand? What is this we have going on? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. I'm afraid that the feelings I still have for you will 
not be returned if only I was granted a wish, just one. I wish to know what you have running through your mind. Do you think about me? Every time I see you, my heart beats slowly, then faster at the same time. I try to hide it all from you. Whenever you walk past me, it's a kick in my stomach. I pretend that I don't feel anything for you, but it's harder convincing myself that I don't. Specialized. It's the kind of specialized exploratory text is aimed at a specific audience of a particular knowledge area that requires or uses a specific vocabulary and technical information. And here is an example of that. We find this in reports, laws, scientific research articles. And here's an example of one. Let me go back. And this is some more scientific type of information. Journalistic. They are those whose purpose is to report on evidence, on events and issues of general interest. These texts are collected in print and oral media. Besides reporting, also allows um, opinions or criticism about certain facts, values, behaviors, and attitudes. Here's an example of that. Chronicles, reports, interviews, and an opinion piece. And we have all seen interviews online. And that's just an example of one. And so we come to the end that these texts are important because they can help any person in general who are interested in knowing or learning of something because these texts have information about anything that may be of our interest. And that is it for our presentation for today. I hope you enjoyed this on scientific text. Thank you so much and you have a great day.